welcome to Coffee with Colleen. Yay, thanks for um, joining and watching right now. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I am in my lovely mom's home and um, stepdad John. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with my coffee mug so we can get this going. All right, so I actually got this. Corey and I got this coffee mug for John. It's a little backwards on here, but it's... Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Coffee with Colleen. Yay, thanks for um, joining and watching right now. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I am in my lovely mom's home and um, stepdad John. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with my coffee mug so we can get this going. All right, so I actually got this... Corey and I got this coffee mug for John. It's a little backwards on here, but it says, I'm trying to be awesome today, but I'm exhausted from being so freaking awesome yesterday. So what can I say? <laughs> Anyways, this is, I like this mug because it's positive. And it's fun. Hi, hello. Hi, Mindy. Hey, Bonsai. hope I'm saying your, and Luna, your name right. Um, but I just think this is funny, and I thought it would be fun for John to have when he wakes up in the morning, remembering that he's awesome. So, speaking of John, I'm going to have him introduce my mom. She's going to join me. She's going to share some things about, um, she's going to share some awesome things about decorating and craft making. And so, here we go. Here is John. Ah, uh, hello, <laughs> good afternoon, and welcome to the Baker Acre Studios. I'm John Baker. Crossbreeding today with, um, <laughs> not crossbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Java with John. Mm -hmm. Waiting coffee with Colleen, yes. Here we go, but actually Colleen's going to talk with her mom today. Julie, my beautiful, gorgeous wife, whom I call JJ, my light, my life, my love. And I want to tell you something. She's very special. She's very creative mm -hmm. she's very artistic mm -hmm. and i've never known anybody that can channel jesus like julie does we've mm -hmm. had some really amazing <laughs> things happen here that I've, I've i've personally witnessed sometimes it's for me it's a little scary even <clears throat> but it's been very interesting <laughs> um you could do two hours on that alone. But um, <laughs> anyway, enough talking to me. Um, here's Julie. Julie. Come around here. Dun, 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 dun. Here's my mom, Julie. Hi. It's me. So we're going to, um, first I want you to share your coffee okay. mug. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we just... <laughs> <laughs> we, we just, I'm creative, but I'm a just, slob. <laughs> yeah, we just got done. Yeah, we said that eating steak. steak so yeah, we got, steak. And we I'm, had to check our teeth and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm like an animal when it comes to steak. Anyway, this cup was given to me by my daughter, Mindy. And she's watching right now. Oh, yeah, Mindy, you gave me this. We do need to add a name to it, which is Scarlet. Um, but this is my favorite cup. And then it has all my children's names on it. Um, it says seven reasons I love being a mommy, mammy. It says Mo, Ammy. Mo, Ammy. Yeah. <laughs> that's cute. Mom, mammy. My grandchildren call me mammy. So anyway, that's my cup. It's fun. Cool. Yeah. And that's yeah, your yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so mm -hmm. something that I I'm gonna come join and sit next to you. <laughs> so I'm just hoping. So what we're gonna talk about today is how you like to spend your time, free time, um, making like uh, wreaths and painting um, furniture, like repainting things, painting the walls. Like growing up, <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you, I'm pretty sure she painted the, changed our walls like four times a year, uh, at least, maybe two. About every season. Every, yeah, so probably about yeah, four times I a year. Yeah, I think the paint got so thick that, you know, the walls started caving in, but. Yeah. <laughs> she would repaint everything. Yeah. So. I just Which love was color. Fun. Yeah, and we lived, we lived in a home. The girls were, my children were raised in a home that was 100 years old, but it was in mint condition. Everything worked. Everything was beautiful. So it was built in the early 1900s, so it was really fun to 
to work with. So I, that's where my creativity mm -hmm. actually began because um, I loved Brown County and I loved, I loved old mm -hmm. history, old, anything old, antique. Mm -hmm. So this house was, um, and I, it's too bad I don't have pictures of it, but it, it, the era was 1920s. So I had a friend who was a, uh, she did the state sales for, you know, people that were selling things from due to, you know, passing away or just the family was selling it. Mm -hmm. um, and she would invite me there. I'd be the first person there, so I got dibs on everything. So I managed to turn our house into a 1920s house. It was yeah, fun. It was pretty. So yeah. it went with the house really well. Mm -hmm. So I just learned a lot, and I had a friend, Tammy Boyce, who helped me. She taught me a lot, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so that's how it got started. And she used to have uh, antique and furniture and candles, antique yes. furniture and candles shop actually in our house for about how many years? Like three, years. three years. Three years. Yeah, I just had an idea. The kids were still kind of little, and um, they weren't in high school yet, so I just turned two rooms in my home into a shop. And one was primitive, and one was Victorian, and it worked really well. I mean, it mm -hmm. went great. Um, and I learned a lot there. And of course, Tammy helped me. Yeah. If it, were, if it wasn't for Tammy, boys, um, no, I probably wouldn't have done well. But um, my main concern were, were candles. And candles were kind of like gasoline. You own a gas station, you only make a penny <laughs> per gallon. Well, if I would have invited candle shops in, like Yankee Candle, Let's use that as an example. They were pretty big then. I would only make like 50 cents a candle, so I decided to make it myself. And I figured it out and did it, and they were awesome. Yeah, they, were they great. turned out really great. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so girls got older, you know, and I just, I mean, they were so busy. I just, and then 9 11 happened, and that's when it just wasn't fun anymore. Because mm -hmm. people weren't spending money for like two years, I believe. I mean, they just weren't. Um, on things they wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were sitting around on things they needed. Yeah, right. that makes sense. So I just quit it. Yeah. But you quit it business wise, but you never stopped doing never it. Never stopped doing it. So I love it. And how many times have you painted the walls in this house that you're living in right now? Once. Oh, once. But how long have you been living here? Three years. Okay, well, that's actually really The other impressive. house should totally redid. Yeah, I redid the other. Even that the was kitchen gorgeous. cabinets. Yeah. That little oh, house, yeah. she really... So the first house, the house before this, they're talking about, is um, she did a lot of, she redid the cabinets, because you do that, you paint cabinets. I do. My brother taught me how to um, take old cabinets, maybe maple, you know, the 1970s kind of cabinet, mm -hmm. and I can turn them into brand new looking white cabinets. And I do do that still. Yeah. Yeah. For business wise, right. and then you also have your own um, personally owned cleaning business. Yes, I do so. that as well. But the cleaning business keeps the painting business busy, mm -hmm. so it's it turns over constantly, mm -hmm. constantly. I do really well in here. In, I, we live in Carmel, so um, I do very well here, mm -hmm. and I love it here. Yeah, it's really a nice place to live. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I you enjoy it. Sorry, I enjoy I enjoy life out here, and I have great clients, great clientele. Couldn't ask for a better clientele. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I get to do my hobbies. My kids are grown. Yep. I wish have I have grandkids, three granddaughters, and I wish they lived closer, <laughs> but they don't. Mm -hmm. But I get to see them, and when I do, it's special if yeah. I go out there it's for a day or two it's not just for an hour or two so, yeah that's nice well, and then Colleen who comes and visit mm -hmm. we see each other a couple times a year mm -hmm. she comes here and then we go there mm -hmm. coronavirus has kind of put a dent in that a little bit this yeah. year but we'll see yeah it may be okay so with that um so I wanted you, you to walk around and show some things that you've oh decorated. my she's decorated a lot so also let's um so let's start, because really? you mentioned, yeah, you oh, mentioned. Yeah, you, you just want to walk in it? Well, I can yeah. start with this. Okay, yeah. So. With my 
This is my favorite wall of the whole house because I love the 1940s. Mm -hmm. I'm really into it. And I found this. They were sold separate, but together they fit. So we put that together and it matched the paint. So I haven't changed the paint, haven't done anything. But at night time, I have this floodlight underneath it, and when I turn it on, it illuminates. Because lighting is the most important thing in your home. Mm -hmm. it, it creates the mood for everything. Think about it. Like when you walk into an office and they have the fluorescent lights, you feel like, you know, interrupted. Mm -hmm. You just don't feel good about it. Mm -hmm. But you walk into a restaurant, a home with very light candlelight, you know, here and there throughout, it really gives you a peaceful feeling. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I always try and... Can't, lighting is probably the second most important thing in my home. So why don't you show a couple other lightings, like the one by the stairs? Well, because it's not dark. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know if I can do that, but I can try. Like, for instance... Well, this is good light. Yeah, this is good. You could do this to give your room... They're salt lamps. They're good for <laughs> more than just lighting, because they are good for you. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to... Um, Clean your, I don't know, it's supposed to clean the air. Yeah. Clean the oxygen. Okay, that's good. Cool. Yeah. And they have a sun window, which is nice. Do you like the lighting from the sun window? Or? Um, I do for plants. It's a little bright for me, but it's okay. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice to get the sunlight in the wintertime or in the summer. And you can, you can um, create a good lighting in your home with sconces. I'm a sconce freak. Yes, you are. She put sconces have, in our apartment. <laughs> yeah, every room has sconces. Like, they're, you know, so, they creep. And, and my husband, John, he thinks the same way I do about lighting, so that helps. That's good. So, I'm going to show the sconces so that these guys here, and I'll back up there. And then she, they put them, and these candles also, you can, they're, lit candles it looks really nice at night and it feels very calming like what she's talking about there's the sconces so i'm seeing right now mom um so i'm kind of jumping around with the lighting but that's no, okay you did you make that wreath yes so she makes really beautiful wreaths and um this is one that she's made so is this um spring we yeah, have so them for each season yeah that's what i was gonna ask yeah so yeah so she has a, a wreath for each season, which is really cool. <laughs> Come near you. Now the Indian, this, the... Oh yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> the reason why you see all the rugs on the wall and such is when I met John, he was into Indian art. And I found that very interesting. So Native American art. I love Native American art, but I never knew how to do, use it, mm -hmm. really. So it, it was um, work in progress. It, it was a process. It was about a three-year process for me. Um, so, you know, without being tacky, um, which you can, it's very easy to do. You just buy uh, art that is original when it comes to Native American. Don't go somewhere and buy a replica because it really doesn't look well. Like the rugs, for instance. Let me turn it on. So these rugs here? Yeah. So if these you, are genuine Native American rugs? Yes, they all are. It's beautiful. Yeah, he bought him through his travels. So we just interfaced, you know, like outdoors, like those are from Yosemite pictures, just things like that. And then the arrows and the, are these genuine yes, Native the American potteries, potteries that yeah. he's collected? Yeah. Some over, some more over here. And the lamps are made of actual calcite. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there. Yeah. So, you know, you just got to keep it real. Oh, here's another lamp. And then you're fine. So, oh yeah. And then, so you said that lighting, oh, yes. and there's another one. So lighting is one of the, you said the first and then you said maybe the second. Without, so what would be the first? Without good lighting, you really can't show your, your art off. Mm -hmm. You need you can't have bright lights. You can't have too dim lights. So what I did on this landing right here, see if I, I can get a 
I wanted to show off John's pottery. So I found these oh, shelves yeah. right here. So beautiful. And I wanted them to hang. I wanted them to be like a 3D look. So I got hooks and hung them out. You just have to use your imagination. But I have this rope light right oh, here. Yeah. Can and the rope me? light. Well, I can't. I don't know if the batteries are dead, but. The rope light at night illuminates the wall. Oh, yeah. So you can see all this art. It's beautiful. And we don't do it very often, but yes, the batteries are dead. Oh, no. That's all right. Yeah. It is beautiful when it's lit up. It looks yeah. really nice. It's rope light, but you don't want to use fluorescent rope light, like, uh, not fluorescent, but uh, LED. LED. You okay. don't want to use LED in your house inside it. I think it's too bright. So mm -hmm. they have soft white okay. LED rope light that you can use. Outside, I would use LED on the patio, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. you know, like if you're having a party, yes. Yeah. But not inside the house. But So that's what it does, and it just illuminates really well. And I've added cactus. This yeah. cactus is 30-some years old. It came from my stepdad. I get a good um, oh, yeah. it, it's a baby of a mother of three, so that's oh, cool. interesting. Yeah, so keeping it real, right? Keeping the real cactus. Yeah. <laughs> These aren't. But we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so furniture. Yeah, this was um, honey maple stain on a pine. It's like a hutch. It opens and isn't that that used to be your TV? Yeah, we I had think. a TV in it. It it was you know remind me of the seventies though the, the wood look. Yeah. So but so you you made it um, look what is this called rustic? Rustic. Yeah. I, how I, did you do that? Will you tell how you painted this? Yes. Uh, you can buy paint at Lowe's or at Home Depot. You don't have to sand. Oh, nice. You yeah. don't have to sand? <laughs> That's awesome. Well, now I'm going to talk about that. Okay. They say you don't have to sand, but if you don't sand, it'll look like this. Okay. So this is what she's talking about. If you don't sand it before you apply this paint, it'll look like this. So this meaning like it won't look as aged? Well, when, or? Okay, so when yeah. you sand wood before you prime it or mm -hmm. paint it, it gets scuffy. Oh, yes. And okay. the paint will adhere differently. Okay. If you don't sand it, it's going to be flat like this. Oh. So this I'm going to redo. Gotcha. So, so this, this one wasn't sand. Right. And it's almost too solid. And yes. It, instead of rustic. Absolutely. So this is easy. Anybody can do it. You just, you sand it. You paint it. And it's called chalk paint, I believe. Yeah, um, I that. think so. And then there's an oil that you use with a rag after this paint dries. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm one step ahead. So after you apply the paint, uh -huh. you sand it again okay. with 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 a um, soft um, sponge sander. It's just you can buy them at Lowe's. It's a square sand sponge. And then you get like your edges because that's where furniture wears on the edges you have to use your imagination then there's this oil that you take a rag and you rub it on it and it gives it the yeah it's really pretty and this look. is really in style like very rustic i love it I, I like gray you know i know it's in style right now it's leaving now we're getting into aquas which is what i have everywhere in my home i yeah. love aqua <laughs> i'm it's like an aqua bird. teal aqua or like a bright light peach. blue mm -hmm. those like. are coming Peaches. back yeah mm -hmm. i have yeah. that in my apartment yeah but I like the grays, and I do love yeah, the plums. Yeah, I was going to say, this looks really nice. Again, it's like a, it's a plum. It's a purpley plum. Again, sconces. And the sconces. Yes. Yep, some more sconces. Yep. And I, what I do is I put, um, like when I have a party, um, I will take little tea candles, stick them in there. It's perfect nice. lighting. Yeah, it's so nice and mm -hmm. cozy and comforting. So, um, yeah. And I add a little bit of Southwest. I mean, like this oh, guy yeah. right here. I mean, that's an actual photo. It's a gray wolf. And, you know, you can just stick them here and there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, you know. And, like, this is, you know, up there. I've mixed that with the Southwestern. So. Mm -hmm, the Native American. And style. then my son, I'm, you know, I'm sure everybody knows my son passed away two mm -hmm. years ago. So I have a little wall for him. 
Yeah. Uh. Which is really this is a great picture of him. Yeah. Trent. And I did this table to match the other thing because they were both the same wood stain and everything. It's pretty. There's a picture of me. <laughs> Don't ever think that awesome. things are hard to do. They're so simple. It's it's just incredibly and inexpensive and simple if you do it yourself. Mm-hmm. Real, uh, Colleen's down at the dining room table, and you did a good job. It looks really it's good. A long time. Way longer than what it would have taken you. Because I had to well, do it Well, they just came about. out with this paint. Yeah, the chalk paint. Well, they the have past it. few years where you don't have to sand. Oh, I see what you're saying. And you could, you could, you know, apply it and then sand once mm -hmm. afterwards. I mean, you know. That's yeah, this one looks really nice. Is wood. that a genuine... Yes. Native American. Yes, all all of them are. It's really pretty. We don't have any. Yeah, he was into uh It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Is there so um what other tips do you have for um decorating? Do you have any other thoughts? Like you said lighting, keeping the theme and adding um your personality to it. I guess for instance. So, like this wall we can do show like this wall um if you if you're into family photos and you just don't know what to do with them and you have old photos of grandma grandpa great grandpa you can take your the structure and make it look old to fit the pictures like i tried to make this look really old these i found at hobby lobby and they were just, that's it, a piece of wood with this. And I mm -hmm. thought, wow, those are old looking, what can I do? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you just figure it out. And they went really well with this theme that I'm trying to present. And that's, those are my grandmothers. And I mean, these were taken back in 19, I don't know, probably 15. 1915. Old pictures. And then you get things like this, depending on your style. You know, I have things like that to things like these. And it, and it all looks nice. I mean, this is a nicer thing, but look, it's got wood. Oh, it's just oh, interesting. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's awesome. You just have to go by your own taste and what you like. And some, she's... Oh, go ahead. Some people like... like um, uh, tropical. That's calling you like kind of like, like the that. beach. Yeah, the beach style. Yeah. Pick a like... theme and go with it. Just go for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good advice because you helped me with that and like a color palette that would match like the pale blues. We color the theme. Peach, that's all you need. Yeah. Grays, yeah. white. Because yeah. my walls are white, completely white. Um, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So I want you also to show your garden, oh, just okay. to show it. Um, yeah, it's, it's new. It's a baby right now. It's a beautiful garden. So They're all babies. And is there anything else you want to share inside before we go outside? I just want to double check. Thanks for joining, everyone. I love that you're all waving. Well, um, if you have any questions about decorating or you're, like, stuck on an idea of decorating, like, you can type it out. Um, let us know, or you can join. You can jump on and be part of our video. So, well, I think color. Um, you pick a color like red. Who would think that barrel back red chairs would look good in a room? Mm -hmm. But they can if you can, you know, mix them with, you know, let the red flow. So, so like a I, pop of color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it on the color. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll show the garden. So you know, last last, co last coffee with Colleen, I was with my brother-in-law, and he showed his vegetable garden. And then I wanted my mom to show her flower garden. Um, and also, I'm getting blasted right now, the sun. Which the sun's not even really out, so this is kind of weird. Well, um, see if it'll focus. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like a complete wiper. It's like completely blo um, blown out. White color. I wonder if I can flip it. Oh, there we go. So this garden here, she's been... You put new flowers in this year, you said? Uh, or I, I use new border flowers. When I border, I, I've been, you know, like marigolds. They're uh, 
annuals. But I decided this year I was going to buy perennials to border because I'm tired of, I'm trying to buy as many perennials as I can. So, perennials come up every year. Annuals don't. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I mean, I. It's your garden. I buy what I think looks pretty or different. Mm -hmm. I've added fern this year. And um, I think fern in California would yeah. do so well in the shade. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what? Um, let me get and the and the reason I want to show her garden is because a lot of the people who follow me, probably not everyone, probably half the people who follow me or percentage, live in the city and don't necessarily have a big yard like my brother-in-law had, like a huge 20-whatever-acre land. But, um, like, you can do something with, like, small patches of, of your land, like with your grass. You can add, like, a few flowers or... And there are flowers that are really good in California um, that can handle heat. All of these would. I so. wish I lived there with these because some of these. These are um, peaches and cream honeysuckle. Ooh. Right there. And come up every year. I mean, in the winter, I gamble with the tropical mm -hmm. type of climbing flowers. But We've grown elephant ears in here, right? I did. And they were huge. They were as they big were as you. <laughs> awesome to send that picture. Yeah, they were too big for my patio. <laughs> they were, I tried yeah. transplanting them, but it didn't work. But potting plants is the best way to go. Yeah, it's pretty. That would be nice to have. Be correct for all my flowers until July. Mm -hmm. So I have to baby them, and I'm pushing these into the... The sun's different. It changes in the summer. So she was just saying, because it, it may have frozen, that finding the best location for your flowers, so like having them in pots, she's able to just move it to one side of her patio where the sun will catch the most, which is over here. And then um, then when the sun changes in July, she can move them again. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's just, so potting plants actually might be the best option mm -hmm. for if you live in the city. Anyways, because then, um, do you also bring any of these plants inside? I do. During the winter time, so that would be more of a Midwest. Thing, I do, but. but this year I wanted color, so I bought these roses. Oh yeah, um, they're miniature roses, and those are for indoor and outdoor. So these will be babied all summer because I do not want them to get too dry or weak because I I want them inside in the winter. This I think is a goner. This was indoors. Mm -hmm. um, in the winter and I brought it outside and it's been in the shade and I don't think it likes outdoors mm -hmm. so I can bring it back mm -hmm. yeah I just noticed that yesterday how they're dying but my favorite out of all these beautiful flowers I have to say is going to be this fern when I planted that a uh, week and a half ago it was no bigger than my finger oh wow so I'm that's curious awesome. to see how big it gets that's awesome yeah. wow so, Friends yeah. grow well in, you said, the shade, or? Yes. Okay. They don't like the sun, and when you water them, they like to be sprayed. Okay. More so than good. doused in the pot. So, um, for those of you who have a lot of shade, ferns are really beautiful, yes. and they grow, like, all big, and they look very jungle-like, I feel like. They do. I mean, look at the difference between that and that. It's still a fern, uh -huh. but look at the beauty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two different ferns. Yeah. That's cool. They make tons of different types of ferns. It's awesome. It's beautiful. It's like really beautiful out, even though it's probably going to rain. Look at the clouds. It's just really mm -hmm. nice out. Mm -hmm. Side thought. <laughs> well, cool. So, Mindy, you're on right now. Thanks for staying with us, Mindy. Um, do, do you have any questions? <laughs> even though you can probably always ask mom. <laughs> yeah, because I'll see you Saturday. <laughs> do you want to pop on and say hi <laughs> or anything like that? It's funny. Maybe the girls want to say hi to Mammy, and the world can see. Oh, see them say yeah, hi Yeah, because she's on right now. See? Oh, okay. She's live right now. Yeah, I love my granddaughters. So. I love my daughters. Yeah. All six of them. So Five. Like five. six. I was like... Five. Five. Granddaughters. Three granddaughters, two daughters. Oh, I was like, what? I was like, are you prophesying no, <laughs> over our no, children, no, no. our future children? No. Um, so is there anything else that you want to share? Uh, I think that's it, really. I mean, that's my life. It's beautiful. So if you, busy. If, you ha if they have any questions about 
you know oh plants or email okay email. yeah we can yeah. i can give them your email right or you can say it right now yeah dot m e dot so because we're outside so i'll we're gonna go closer to the door it's kind of nice out here i like it i know i like it so um so oh <laughs> yeah don't minnie says she's in the <laughs> Never mind okay. about that. Yeah, That's forget awesome. that one. So, um, I'll post, you know, probably next week. I've been posting like a few days after Coffee with Colleen, um, how to contact my mom, Julie. And sh you can ask her any questions about decorating um, or about uh, her cleaning if you live around here and you want your house clean, also. And if you need to repaint your cabinets or you have questions about that or about flowers, like, you know, maybe watering or just suggestions. say oh you're only supposed to water them like every once a week you know or maybe three times max a week if it's hot and sunny week but um, well, every night yeah water. every evening or morning not in the afternoon though because you'll burn them you don't want to do that but not a lot just take your hose and like in a pot and just you know run it for three seconds and out it'll be beautiful i mean they just they'll love you for it yeah <laughs> no, that's great. So, I love it when it's gonna rain here. So, well, thank you guys for it's going to the clouds that are coming in. Thanks for joining with Coffee with Colleen and joining my mom and I and John. John, you want to quick hi? Hello. So, thanks for announcing long. <laughs> hi, guys. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'll post some information about to reach my mom and. Uh, just, you know, you can um, send any questions or comments or any requests of people you want me, you want to see on here. So if you want to join and always open to anybody wanting to jump on during Coffee with Calling. So thanks for joining us. Bye.